Let me ask you a question. Have you played Elden Ring before? From my personal experience, I can safely say that the game is basically Genshin Impact. I mean, you have a stamina bar, there's characters, it's an RPG, you collect weapons. So yeah, basically the same game. Hopefully people are already through lynching me for that comment, and we can get on to what I'm trying to do here. Basically, I asked myself a question. Could I beat Elden Ring using a Genshin Impact character? So that's where this idea was born. And the plan became to make a character that was 100% lore friendly to Diluc. This means his appearance, his weapons, his spells, everything. So the rules were going to be simple. I could only use weapons and items that were lore friendly to Diluc. These are things like dark colored armor, big swords, and fire magic with only my livestream chat to keep me honest. The next rule was that I was going to partially region lock myself. That is to say that I couldn't move on from an area until I took out that area's remembrance boss. For the uninitiated, basically that means I can't leave an area until I take out the big boss of that area. Simple stuff. Along the way, I also tried to come up with ways to make this lore friendly for D. Luke in the first place, but we'll get there when we get there. Anyway, here's the character creation, and I'll see you Thank down you the line. Reminder, Jay Squid. So we're going to make D-Luke. So I'm thinking like this color. I think this one works. It's very pale, but has just a smidge of color. Will your D-Luke need help? So let me know. Oh, hell no. D-Luke is a... He's the Dark Knight hero. He's Batman. He never gets... D-Luke doesn't get help. What? Oh, this is going to be rough. Okay, so it has to be long hair, right? Okay, so right off the bat, this might be our closest one. Ooh. Actually, hold up. Do we have a winner already? Hold I think we got our D-Luke hair. Yeah? I think that lines up. What do you guys think? D-Luke red? It has the ponytail, like, the bangs? I think we nailed it. I think we nailed it. Less bright? Uh, let's go a little darker. How about that? It needs to be more lush. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, next up. Uh, uh, root Darkness? No roots. He's an anime character. Anime characters don't have roots. He has very... They are red. Are his eyebrows red? They're also very thin and long. So we're looking for, like... We're following... We have to make... We're making D-Luke here. We gotta follow the rules. I want something green. His armor can be green. And then we need facial hair. Now, obviously, D. Luke's an anime character. Anime characters don't have facial hair. We know this. this. We know this to be true. So that's easy enough. You can't mess with the integrity of D. Luke. We're, we're, we're trying to, like, we got to make this perfect. I think, I think I nailed it, though. I think that's the color, right? Maybe a little deeper, if I can. Oh, yeah. No, if I can make those bigger... We gotta make the eyes massive. There you go. There. <laughs> uh, Alright, looking good actually. What do you think? Make him three feet tall. <laughs> Alright, there it is. We nailed it. It looks just like him, doesn't it? It looks pretty good actually. Now he looks angy. Of course he does. He's D Luke. D Luke's always angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> From the front. Oh, that looks it looks a little weird, but it's not that bad. Oh god. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and just um I'll put that back a little bit. <laughs> oh god! Look at it! Look at this abomination, those hair green. No! There we go. You may not like it, but this is what peak anime boy looks like. This is it. He has big juicy lips. Aiko, I want you to look at our, our reference image. Look at our reference image. What lips do you see? So good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. He's beautiful. Oh my god, I love it. Alright. Yeah, no, that looks, that looks pointy enough. Disgusting. I know. I don't want to see Venti in this style. Oh. Look. The anime, I'm going to say this right now, anime style looks really weird when you put it into any kind of practice. If you put it into any, like, real practice, this is what you get. Anime characters look like aliens, okay? It's just how it is. 
All right, so I'm pretty satisfied with our D Luke. How do you guys feel about our D Luke? Okay, so uh, there it is. We've uh, made our masterpiece. Do we like him? Every a chat, say hi to D Luke. Tell you how much, tell him how much you love him, and how beautiful he is. After making our flawless D Luke, I decided to step outside and find out immediately that D Luke was in fact maidenless. To counteract this, we made our way to Stormvale Castle as fast as possible to immediately find a maiden. For lore purposes, I've decided that this is that one girl in Mondstadt that has a massive crush on Diluke. We then went to the gotcha system, made a wish, and found ourselves a Favonius Greatsword. After that, we made our way towards this first major area of the game, Stormvale Castle. And with virtually no preparation, I begin to throw myself at the first boss, Margit, of the, uh, Abyss Omen, or something. I'll figure this out down the line, don't worry. Start. Whoa. He's not at half health yet. We're not in the second phase yet. Ow. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Phase two. Uh-oh. 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 Bad touch. Bad touch! No! Get me away from the edge! I am somehow still alive! Panic rolling now, that's not good. Oh, I'm alive! Oh no! Give him half health, first try, not bad. Tell him Moi Moi, he will die. Moi Moi Kuhn? No, he's still alive. He's still very much alive. Oh god. You lied to me. Oh, phase two. We might have to go collect our vision. Maybe that's the secret. Ooh! Focus, boys! Big charge attack. Going too early. Break. Ooh, that's good. Okay, that was, uh... We broke even on that. Get my stamina get back. I also don't have, like, a, a ring or anything yet. I don't have any, uh, accessories. Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I didn't mean to guard that. I meant to roll. Oh, I hate to see it. The sword looks like a fab great sword. Exactly. See, that's my thoughts exactly. Oh my god, I hit like a I hit like a wet noodle. Ow! I walked right into that. All right, let's go ahead and just chuck this. Uh, ah! Ooh, that's good. I'll stab him. Uh, yes, for three years. What dilute type of delusion did he use? I need as much information as he can give me. Oh god, he went for the knife. I got punished. I got punished hard. Oh, good face too. Okay, he's gonna bait that hammer. That hammer is like the most punishable move he has. The sword is not very pun that's punishable. Followed up with a big heavy. Also, fighting bosses, I'll tell you right now, if I'm fighting a boss, I cannot respond to the chat to save my life, just so you know. I'll try my best, but, like, it's probably not happening. <laughs> like, I look away, I'm a dead man. Hi, kitty. Yeah, I know, I can't pay attention to you right now, I'm sorry. Okay, that's punishable. Punishable with big swing. Come on. I'm just gonna pick this up because it's annoying me. Come on. Oh. Big swing. Oh, can I punish? I can punish. Oh god, hammer! 
jump. Oh, I jumped the swing. Oh yeah, get stabbed. I love Elden Ring. Same. Okay. Oh god, punished. Chug, chug, chug. That's a big swing. Punish with big swing. Roll away. Oh, it's done! Sit down, Market. Get out skilled. Out skilled, mofo. Hi, Zoomy. Hi. <laughs> Zoomy's like on the tip of my chair right now. With Market out of the way, it was now time to tackle a slightly bigger challenge. Well, actually, that's not true. I actually find this boss much easier than Margit. But still, we are woefully unprepared for what's ahead of us. So, let's see how it goes. On pointless. There's, like, there's nothing to argue. Uh -oh. It's timed. Alright, phase two. I'm very good at phase one. I can do phase one pretty much hitless. Pretty much. Exactly. Cyni Cynical one is the frog. Cynical frog. Frog -a Ah! It's the attack that's killed me like every time, but I didn't die that time, so. Oh! Punished! I can't bring up over. I don't think it matters. I don't think you really need to ping people in chat, but most of the time! I guess I just wouldn't worry about it. Don't stress it. Don't stress the little thing. Oh, I die was too slow. Uh, okay. Ow. Oh no, we're fine. We're fine. Oh my god, stop breathing fire for like three seconds, please. Tumbling at me. Look for a grab. I go for a chop. Oh, I didn't jump in time. Okay, we're gonna create some distance. We're fine. We're fine. D Luke is fine. D Luke is the best at this game. Oh, no! Oh. Punished! Oh, yeah! Good night! d -Luke don't need no vision to kill you! Ah <coughs> oh god, I hurt myself. Stormvale Castle down, we could finally move on to our next region, Lyernia of the Lakes. Lakes of Lyernia? Mondstadt? Fontaine! There we go. Anyway, it's here that we could get d uh, delusion, in a sense. And that would be Blood Flame Blade. A spell that gives d -Luke fire damage, as well as bleed buildup. This was going to be integral for some of our upcoming fights, at least until we could get d -Luke's proper vision. From there, we'd be getting one last tool that we could take advantage of in this region, and that is something called the Stormhawk Ashes. Basically, it's a summon that we could use that's, just as the name implies, a hawk. Which, if you know d -Luke, has a pet hawk, and is very bird-themed in some of his abilities. So I felt that this was going to be very appropriate for our build. So, here's the kicker. Um, d -Luke is associated with quite a few things. Claymores, the color black, red hair, fire. But something else that he is associated with that maybe you not be immediately obvious is a hawk. So we get to use a storm hawk for our build. So we get to summon a bird to help us fight. With that all gathered, it was time to tackle our first dragon fight against uh, Storm Terror. Yeah, totally, it's Storm Terror. Same colors and everything, can't you tell? Anyway, this fight went pretty well, and then afterwards, we would be making our way into the uh, Academia, because it's a school. Ah, see, see, I, I can connect this to Genshin. This can work. We're gonna say that this boss is our inner turmoil about our about D Luke's dad. 
This is the inner turmoil. This boss is metaphysical. Let's get weird. Oh, wow, I got instantly killed. <laughs> I was ill-prepared. I didn't do that right. I went in there so slow, my brain was just all like, blah. Hey, Sam, welcome to the stream. How's it going? I'm excited for Ayaka. Hell yeah. I'm excited for Navia, personally, but Ayaka's, uh, Ayaka's awesome. I like Ayaka a lot. Two-handed mode. Summon Burb a best friend. Pick up souls, because I actually have a lot. Ow! Even with my new armor, I'm still squished. Be careful though. This, this boss is a glass cannon, so I gotta be really careful about it. Because he can just kill me. Uh, is that coming towards me? Yep. Oh, that would have killed if I didn't miss. Easy. Inner turmoil has been defeated. Yeah, we got real metaphysical with that one. Deluxe Inner Demons now being defeated, it was time to face our greatest challenge yet. I should probably mention too, we got some new armor. We are now officially a part of the Knights of Favonius, and I think these colors match pretty well. Anyway, it was time to face down Moongrum. I mean, uh, Cavalry Captain Kaya? Yeah, it's Kaya. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, fighting this guy sucks too, because he can parry me. Which, if he parries me, it's a one-shot, so... He has a lot of health. He's actually really tanky. And he doesn't stop until... Ow. Until he starts uh, two-handing a sword. Yeah, you only have one potion, jerk. Oh, and he just stabbed me with his big blue sword. He just hit me with Kaya skill. Kaya skill one-shot me. Clearly OP. Well, now we'll go for real now. Thanks, I enjoyed the stream. Hey, thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, I think it's time to fight. We'll fight Kaya with true honor and discretion. We're going to fight this exactly how they would probably fight this out. Come on, get me. Chase me, brother. Go ahead. You think you can fight me? Oh. See ya. Didn't work. Didn't work. Got him! <laughs> he fell! <laughs> Dumbass! <laughs> ah, fought with honor. With the true evil of the Academia slain, Captain Kaya, we could now face the lesser evil, Renala of the Full Moon. I mean, uh, the Grand Sage of the Academia? Yeah, that tracks. I can work with that. We're just fighting the Academia. This is the whole Academia. All of it. This is the entire thing. The whole thing is, for those who don't know, you just have to find the right students and then hit them to stop them from casting their spells and then beat up the boss while she's over there. Ooh, I'm not going to two-phase this. Ow! They're throwing books at me. Don't throw literature at me. More. Oh no, what? Oh, the bird? Ow. I think bird hit the last one. You're about to see one of the sickest phase, like, phase twos of a boss ever. Hopefully. I don't even have enough damage. Oh my god, I still don't have enough damage. That's not a good, that's a really bad sign, actually. Oh no. Queen of Caria, Granala of the Full Moon. 
All right, here we go. Phase two. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. One of the most gorgeous arenas in the game. Here we go. I'll watch the light there. Have a good day. Take care. Thanks for hanging out, man. Oh, I got hit with the whole... Oh, I got hit with the whole shotgun. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that sucked really bad. Like, I've, I've definitely not... Uh, I'm not going to... I, I opened a shortcut and I'm not using it. Very dumb. <laughs> D Luke and Elden Ring? Impossible. Very possible, in fact. I mean, look at him. Look at our D Luke. Look at our D Luke. He's beautiful. It looks just like him. Impossible. Impossible. Very possible, in fact. It's not impossible, it's improbable. Uh-oh, uh-oh, bad, 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 very bad. That aimed at me or the bird? Bird, no! You killed Dean, my bird! I hate you. I will slay thee for this transgression. Is that coming at me? Go! You cleanse the school of its sins. So now we can go get a real weapon. We can go get our, we can go unlock our vision. Sumeru has been saved. The Grandmaster destroyed. And the Academia saved, Sumeru was finally at peace. Or something like that. Anyway, that's all I have time for now. Next up, we'll be making our way to Kaled, which I haven't decided where in Genshin that's supposed to be yet, but it can't be anywhere pretty. Maybe Ankonomia. Next time, will we find our vision? Perhaps get a better Claymore? A Wolf's Gravestone, maybe? That'll be fun. Anyway, that's all from me. Cheers. And by the way, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more. And if you guys have any suggestions for ways to improve this format, if I should make them longer, shorter, please let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, cheers. Okay. Let us pray we can actually use this, because if we can't, I will be so sad. I, I will, in fact, cry. Ashes of War, please. <laughs> we can't use it. God damn it.